Hey guys, this is Valerie, otherwise known as SassFest1. I have another video coming up for you. Stay tuned. <music> Hi everyone, this is Valerie, otherwise known as Sass Fresh One, back at you with another Good Thrift Haul. I want to say thank you. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for all of you returning subscribers, thank you just as much. We are the Sass Thristers here. Yes, we are. So I got a great haul for you. Got a lot to show you. So let's get started. The first item we're going to start with is dresses. I have this dress here. You know, right now, slip dresses are really, really what's in right now. I found this one. It has a beautiful, what do you call this? Fuchsia? Fuchsia. It doesn't show just this on the camera, the color. But it's a satiny type of um, material. And you can wear silk dresses with just about anything. Blazers. You can wear them with... Um, jeans or or slacks underneath uh you can wear them for daytime and you can wear them for evening jazz it up for the evening thought that was really cute it has spaghetti straps this one is made from bb bb is the brand and thought that was really really cute i have another one here a little bit more fancier this is really beautiful. Love this. This is like a cream color and it has the embroidered lace up here. Looks really good on, fits perfectly. This was from, I guess this brand here. Flora. Fits perfectly, guys. It has this little lace backing here. You can see that right here really really nice again you can wear this daytime or nighttime and i find them in the lingerie department yes i did so that shouldn't stop you that should not stop you from picking out items that you can wear and you don't have to wear them just for nighttime wear them during the day dress it up dress it down okay that's for the slip dresses. This is a dress, and I may have a picture of this for you. I found this vintage piece. I would say this is the late, maybe 80s, middle 80s, late 80s. It has buttons in the front here. It has this elastic band in the waist, and it buttons all the way down, all the way down. So, you can wear this as a duster. You can wear this as just a plain dress. You can wear this um, with jeans. This over the dream. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the jeans. <laughs> um, because that's also another trend that's been out for a while. Uh, wearing dresses over pants or jeans. Really nice. I love the colors. And you can tell this is an old, old, old vintage uh, brand. Just you really tell by the tag. But it's really, really nice. Love that. I found this at I found this at Goodwill, and I believe it is a um, it is a covering for a swimsuit. But I'm going to wear this as a duster as well. It has these little metal embellishments on the side here. Drawstring at the waist. You can leave it open or close it up. And wear it that way. The sleeves are nice and long. And it also has the embellishment on the ends there. Really, really love it. Really long. It has this tie-dye like appearance. I really like that. The colors were great. And guess what? You could probably hook this up with the slip dress show it for you i tried it on with that and it looks 
perfect. Let me get this here. You could probably wear it together as a covering if you don't want to wear uh, the slip dress without, if you don't want your shoulders out and your arms out, perfect combination. Perfect combination, guys. That's why I say buy your separate, buy these pieces that are separates. You will find something in your wardrobe that you can wear with it, you know? So if you really, really love it and you're like, well, I can only wear with one thing, don't have that mindset. Mix it up with what you have in your closet. Next item, item, I'm tongue tied today, guys, is this. I saw a model on Pinterest with a suit similar to this. This is a top. I really, really love the colors. Love the colors. Collar has a satiny like collar on it with a, um, this is where the buttons are. What do you call this? The panels, button panel. And it comes with a pair of pants. Yes. Top. Here are the pants. Beautiful. Beautiful. They fit perfectly, too. This is a size. I didn't think it would fit. It's a medium. I normally like to wear a large because I like my clothes loose, but it fits pretty good with this. So, I was thinking that if I didn't really like the pants with it, I'll just wear the top itself. But they both come in pretty good. And this is from, let me see if there's a tag in here. Don't see a tag. Someone took the tags out. You guys know how I feel about the tags. It's good to have the tags remaining inside, not only to know um, what brand makes them, but also how will you care for your items. And it's made of cotton, cotton and polyester, but it doesn't have the care instructions on it. So, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll have to show you how I styled this. Next is this blouse. I love this blouse. Gorgeous. It's kind of sheer, but not so sheer that you can see right through. Because in the front, it has this, um, this hang bodice here that overlaps. Cuffs, button sleeves, and it's a multicolored like, let me see if I can get you guys right. A multicolored like um, snake print. So back really nice and it has an elastic in here or a waist elastic waist really pretty this love this as well this is just a tank dress very lightweight and it has this ombre effect all the way at the bottom i wore this um with um to, to work one day I wore it for school days chronicles if you haven't seen my school day chronicles guys check it out and um, I wore it with a denim jacket really lightweight this is from a brand called Sam and LM there you go Sam and LM very comfortable very easy you know you don't have to do too much throw it on Again, wear it with a, a, a duster or wear it with a jacket if you don't want your arms out. But I love that. At the back, it has a split in the back. It has a raw end. Raw edge in. Looks really good. I have to show you a picture of that. Let me get you guys straight here. Sorry about that. Okay, let's move on. One more dress. This I found also which i love is a shirt dress really nice this is really trendy i guess it was i guess you call it trendy no i don't want to say trendy bad wording this is chic this is chic it's a shirt dress and this is from shein But I thought it was interesting. And you want to know why? It has a zipper in the back. But let me show you the details. 
Here are the sleeves. It has a ruching on the sides. On each side, it has the ruching. And at the bottom, it has a bibbed bottom with the draw, well, the drawstrings are on the side that can make it ruch. You can ruch it up as much as you want. But it has this bibbing. Let me turn the back. Sorry about that. Okay, this is the back of it. But the sides, again, have the ruching. And I just thought this was really cool. This would look really good with a pair of boots. Cowboy boots, over-the-knee boots. Or you can wear it with just about anything. It buttons about halfway at the waist. Again, zippered in the back. So, thought that was really cute. I found this jacket. It's just really lightweight. It's like a wind, um, windbreaker, I guess what they call it. You can call it a windbreaker. Snaps on the ends. It has a zipper and snaps here. It also has a drawstring at the end. Now this is long enough, I could wear it as a dress. Also, as you see, has a hoodie on it. And it has this wording in the back. The one lives perfect. He is forever. I believe this is some type of religious quote. But it's okay because I'm a believer. So I loved it. Drawstrings. This too I could probably wear with boots. Combat boots. Over the knee boots. Stiletto boots. Cowboy boots of course. Lightweight. Wear it by itself or wear it as a jacket. Okay, let's get into shoes. I hope you guys checked out my walk with me through my closet video. No way, guys. I have a whole lot of more shoes, but I would have had that video going on forever. So, um, but I did not get the opportunity to show you my uh, sneaker collection. And these are just a few that I purchased from um, just a recent, some are recent thrift hauls. Or thrift shopping the other ones you may have seen in previous videos but these are shoes that I found at um, my local thrift store which usually I go to Goodwill Salvation Army and the Goodwill outlet those are my three favorite if I'm traveling and I happen to see a thrift store I'll go in the thrift store and check out what they got and usually buy something from there but my main sources of secondhand are Goodwill, Salvation Armory, and the Goodwill Outlet where they uh, charge you by the pound. So you get your little bag, you loaded it up with things you uh, that you found, get to the counter and they weigh it. And I think right now we're at $1.80 a pound, something like that. I haven't been in a little while. The last time I went, it, the prices went up. So, but these are some sneakers that I purchased. Hold on. First pair are these Skechers. Skechers. I love the color of these, the color combination. Very nice. The pink, the light green. You can see the light green there. And the black, that just goes really good. And I like the shape of the shoe. Really, really nice. Here's the back. Goodwill and they were on half price. With Goodwill they have a certain color. The color of the day is half price. I think I got these for like $6.99 or something like that. But I thought those were nice. Found these. Guess. Love them. Guess. With the gold and white goes really good together that combination. I saw these in the store several times and I was tempted to get them, but every time I thought about it, I said, no, I have enough tennis shoes. I have enough. And then I went, every time I went back, I still saw them. Nobody purchased them. And you know, what are my signs for looking? If, if I see something in, in the store and I don't get it that day and uh, kind of ignore it, I'll go back the next day if I see it or any other day and it's still there. I just feel like it's meant for me. 
these were my size I don't know if you can see that very well but they were my size so that's another sign they were meant for me to get and I finally say I love those shoes let me get those shoes anyway you never have enough pair of tennis shoes and the gold is just really sets it off so I really really love that okay and guys you have seen these you have seen these in many of my videos these are a pair of Air Force Ones that someone obviously painted. I started not to get them, but I said, I can get by with that. Hey, I don't care. Got these. They were my size. Perfect fit. So, I got them. And I've worn them with uh, sundresses. I've worn them with, of course, jeans. I've worn them with... Um, skirts you can wear tennis shoes with anything it sets your mood whatever mood you're in I dress based on the mood what well, how am I feeling today am I boho today am I conservative today do I just want to be athletic today do I want to be sophisticated today that's my thought pattern when I go and get dressed in the morning but love these let's move on and since we're doing the shoes, I'm going to show you some shoes. Some more shoes. Or boots. These. I love these. I love, 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 love these. One is because I like the shape. They're not really pointed, but they look good on my foot. And that's another way I tell whether I like the shoe. The way the shoe is cut. Here's the side, not very much of a high heel. I can use this, wear these in the classroom because the heel is not high and my feet won't hurt being that I stand mostly all day. And it has this sock type ankle, um, what do you call this here, part, shaft, whatever. I don't know what you call it. I can't think of it right now. But these, I love them, but I'm going probably to put them on probably we'll be putting them on Poshmark and the reason why is because they said they were a nine now I can fit most nines I'm a nine and a half but it depends on how the shoe is cut sometimes I can get away with it now I found saw these at another Goodwill and happened to go to another one cross town sometime after the first time I saw them and they were there and I knew the first time I tried them on the first store that I was at I could fit them, but they were kind of tight. But I knew that they were uh, eight and a half. So I tried to see if I could, you know, squeeze them in. But I didn't get them. And then, like I said, a couple of weeks later, I was at another Goodwill and I saw them, which I, they probably shipped these same shoes to another store. And they had size nine on these. So I said, well, if it's a size nine, really, maybe, maybe. These are a bigger size, and this is the exact cut that I wanted. I saw a pair, and I tried looking online to see if I can. This is from Zara Basic. Looking online to see if I can, you know, find the brand and order them. Looked on Poshmark to see if any other sellers had these same style of shoes. Because I want a pair of silver boots. I don't really want the metallic light like, but these were like a, a matted sheen which is, you know, something that I could, you know, wear with a lot, lot more things, even though I could rock the shiny, the shiny metallic. But I really wanted something a little bit less shiny to wear quite often. But they don't fit, guys. So I have to give them away. So I'm still in search for a pair of silver boots that's a matted finish like this. I love these. I wish I could find them. Or if you guys know of anybody that's selling these boots in the nine and a half or ten, because I don't mind them being big because I can wear them with socks or whatever, let me know. Okay? Now, I think that is all for the shoes. Let's go to purses. And we, no, one more pair of shoes. I forgot these just simple simple something simple pool shoes or little croc like shoes these orange slides very comfortable they're from a brand sorry 
I don't know. This croc, it doesn't say croc on them. But this is my perfect size. These are just comfortable shoes that I love the color, the pop of color. Wear them at the beach, wear them by the pool, or just wear them to run errands and have the extra pop of color when you're wearing whatever you got on. Simple, but I love them. Yes, so that is it. Now let's go to that and then we'll end up with some belts. My bad, one more pair. I thought I had all of the shoes together, everything, every category in order, but they're not. You guys, I did a little post for these sandals. These sandals here. These are so fly. Oh my God, I love these. These look so good on your foot. I got them from the men's section, but it doesn't matter to me because I don't care about that. Style is style. Whatever looks good on you looks good. These would look good with a pair of hair and pants, especially. They would look good with just regular slacks. They look good whatever you want to wear with them, guys, during the summertime or just for comfort. Genuine leather. Made in, made in, made in Italy. So you know the Italians, they know how to rock some clothes and style. Oh yeah. So love those. I showed you those before. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, now let's go to a few other items. This, I don't know if I showed you this guys before, but this is a, what do you call it? little midriff top what do you call these the short little midriff i got one on right now this one the green one i don't think it's a midriff top i don't know what you call it but it's glittery i don't know i may have showed this in the haul or not but i had it in the bag for things to show but really really cute but it's too big for me i don't have that much boobies up there so it doesn't fit well and this is a large but it will look great in the daytime or nighttime. You don't always have to you don't always have to wear glitter at night. Break it out, guys. Bring it out in the daytime. Find you a pair of white linen pants with this on and a white jacket to put over in case you wanna, you know, cover your shoulders. With these, with these black sandals and a pair of white linen wide leg pants work it learn how to work it and you're gonna learn on my channel here's another bodice type i don't know what's called i say bodice maybe not i'll find the right words i know the right word but it's just not coming to me right now but this is a denim top it has a hook and eye closures in the front Here's the back. And I wore this, but still is a little bit too big on me. I wore this over on top of a shirt. So I figured that even though it's a little bit big, it, the uh, extra clothing that I wore with it would probably cover up the extras, but it's too big. So I'm gonna give it away. And I ended up finding another one that fits perfectly. Not the same style, but it works the same job or it does the same job. Okay, now moving on to this. This is just a FYI. If you guys ever go to the outlet, a lot of times when you go to the remnant section or either the bins where they have the shoes, they also have belts or sometimes they have just a whole bin of purses or whatever. They have belts, they have luggage straps, they have all these remnant pieces that um, you can sort through. And a lot of times I come across these little things like this. They're just a string and they maybe have like shells on them or they have some type of wood, like in this case, it's wood or some type of embellishments on them. They're really belts, but I use them as necklaces. Let me take this one off to give you an example of how I would wear it. And that's why I say, guys, 
Fashion is using your imagination. If I can get it off. Because I want to show you the real effect of this. So we want to take this off right now. Okay. So that's why I say fashion is being created. This is a belt and it fits for whatever, you know, type of outfit that you're rocking. But I wear it as a necklace. Just double it over. And tie it. This has like a Western look. If you like Western wear. Or a, a boho type of appearance. Use it for that. Not just for a belt. If the belt is too small, then that's what you use it for. Try to use it as a necklace. If you don't want to wear it as a choker, just use it and tie it at the ends and wear it as a necklace. Right? Here's another one. I like this. It comes in all different colors. That way. Turn it around as a choker or let it hang like that on the side maybe and let it hang you can work it you can work it but yeah use that and here's one I find a lot that are um, leather these old vintage belts made for tiny tiny waist but again I'm going to use it as a choker tie it in the back tuck it in the back and you're good check that out use your imagination when it comes to fashion you have to take the time experiment with things that is the only way you're going to learn how to create your own aesthetic because it is your own style, it's the, your own way of putting pieces together, coordinating pieces, which is different from anybody else's. Okay? All right, let's move on to purses, and then we will be done, guys. Found this little bag. It is suede, fringe. Thought it was really, really cute. Made of genuine leather or suede. Suede is leather. Small strap. Crossbody. Bring it down. Little crossbody here. Wear it like that. Or you can wear it as a waist belt as well. If you put it all the way over like that. Put it over like that. Let me bring you back down, guys. And you tie it here on the side and there you have a waist belt use your imagination there you go but I love that thought that was really cute I'm sorry about the ankle today guys but um I tried to set up my office in a different way and I have to get another camera. I'm using my phone right now. But um, yeah, I hope you can see everything pretty good. If not, let me know. And I'm sure some of you will with your comments. All right, so that's that. Guys, look. Found it. No. It's not real. I didn't see any tags in it on the inside. It's a dupe or knockoff, I would say. But anyway, I thought it was cute. It was just sitting on the side. Nobody picked it up. Because you know what? People have the mindset, and it's okay if you do. If it's not real, I don't want it. I don't wear imitation stuff. Okay, that's fine. Perfectly fine. However, if you don't care, don't care. I like designer because I like the brands. I don't wear it for people 
to say, oh, that ain't real. Oh, she thinks she got this. Oh, she got a whole lot of money. No, I only wear designer because I like the brands and who they represent. I'm not trying to trick anybody, not trying to do all that. I just like the brand. So I may wear it. And if you think or if you know that it is not real, more power to you. I don't care. That's the problem. We as humans are so concerned about what people have to say. It's your look, it's what you wear, it's not them, so they don't have your mindset, right? Moving on. I found this little clutch. Don't know if I showed you this or not. If I did, I'm sorry. It got in the bag with the rest of the things. But I thought this was really, really pretty. It's a paisley type of print made of some type of fabric cloth. It's a wooden button here. It is a uh, leather trim. It has a hang, wrist, wrist tie, wrist, a wristlet. And um, I thought it would just be a nice statement piece. It's from a brand called, let's see if you can see that, Ibisu, Ibisu, something like that, zipper, Plenty of room, clean inside. And it's a nice little statement piece that you can wear with things. Really, really nice. Okay, let's move on. Here's another waist belt. It is full leather, but I thought it was cute. It has studs on it carry it just to run to the grocery store or on an errand or put your identification in or your credit cards or something like that. A little cash maybe if you just carry cash on you. I hardly ever carry cash on me. But yeah, it's just a little waist belt. Tie around your waist or you, this in, case, in this case you have it as a, a belt buckle go again like that and uh, yeah Just wear it like that thought it was really nice faux leather and convenient I'm gonna take it off here we go okay here's a bag let me show it that way and then I'll bring me up it's from this brand. I know I can't pronounce the name of this brand. Guys. Maybe you're better at doing it than I am. How do you pronounce that? Is it Ticanello? Ticanello? Something like that. But this brand has been out for a long, long time. It's genuine leather, has the tassel. It's just a cute black basic small shoulder shoulder bag. And I just love, love, love the feel of leather. And if you're like me, I'm kind of hard on my bags. But yeah, this is a nice bag. Just to carry things. Here you go. Really cute. Zipper in the back. Side back pocket. Really cute. Here we go. Bear with me, guys, in this camera. Or in this case, my phone. Okay. Now, the last of the last is this tote. Really nice tote. It's made of vinyl. And I believe that it came from a gift set. And the reason why... It's because it is Shibinchi. Here are the hardware. Shibinchi on there. Um, there's a little, I don't know if this is a key ring. And it has Shibinchi on there. 
But you know what, guys? I found this in the suitcase section or the luggage section. Let me put it that way. At a Goodwill. And there was so much stuff piled on top of it. And I didn't even really notice it. I just said, well, this is a nice bag. I can carry some things when I'm in class or whatever. Or just want to carry a tote overnight bag or something like that. Didn't to pay too much to the hardware until I got it home. And I said, what? Again, it must have come from a gift set. Maybe not. Because in one thing... It may be that maybe the people that worked in the Goodwill just didn't know the brand or maybe they felt like, oh, it is a knockoff or I don't think I got this for no more than $5, guys. But that is my point. When it comes to luxury pieces, I don't care what people think. I just love the brands and who they represent. Now, this is a channel, a thrift channel. I shop within my budget. I hope you too. Even if you can afford luxury, shop within your budget. Do not go and spend all of your hard-earned money on very expensive stuff or brands. Let me give it more credit than that. More expensive brands if you cannot afford it. So, if you want to fake it till you make it, you can do that. But you should not have no shame in the game. Because if you're wearing luxury, like I said before, why are you wearing it? So other people can see that you can afford to wear it. And that you want to let people know that I have all this kind of money and I can afford to buy this. Or do you really like the brand and what it represents? That is only for you to decide that. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me again. And again, thank you for my new subscribers. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'm going to have more coming up. We have, if you haven't seen my School Days Chronicles, I have a lot of them coming. I'm backed up because I've been, for, this is, this was the last week of school that we're in. So School Days Chronicles may be on a pause until the summer break is over, but we'll be back. But I want to show you some of the other outfits that I have been wearing. So again, guys, keep on thrifting. Keep on being smart shoppers. Buy that quality material or just buy what you love and put it together and rock it because who has to wear it? You. And you are the only one that cares about who you are, what you represent, and a lot of times your style, your fashion represents who you are. It depicts your personality. So until next time, guys, always, always keep shopping smart. And always remember to live fashionably ever after. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.